welcome to the journey. Today, friends, I want to do something different. I want to read a letter, an email that I received, with the permission of the person who wrote it, that talks about their own journey during lockdown. Because I think it's important to see not just the anxiety and the fear in this time of lockdown, but also what we could gain in this time. And this letter points some of that out. The lockdown has been hard and stressful and challenging, but amidst the chaos, there has been a calm, a time to reflect and reconnect with myself. In fact, I don't think that I have ever had this type of connection and self-reflection as life has always crept in and responsibilities have taken over. We haven't got a clue who we are because we are all trying to just keep our heads above water. Whilst I've had to work in a very different kind of way, which in itself has been a time of self-discovery and pushed me to new heights, I have managed to find or make the time, or maybe been forced even, into the time of thinking and reflection. What I like and what I would like to do, the things that I would like to learn about, the research that I want to do. Some days I have truly embraced this, and other days I have completely pushed it aside. That's another whole new angle too that I've explored. I've realized in this time of lockdown that fear is very real for me. A fear of failure, a fear of disappointing people, fear of doing for myself and then being accused of being selfish. That fear keeps me trapped and dissipates my confidence to change. I've also reflected that we need to empower ourselves. We give our power over to systems and to governments, to work, to religious bodies, even to our cell phones. And then we really suffer as a result. These systems are all unloving and cause us to fail and cause us to think that me, I, am not enough. And this time allows us to try new things, discover ourselves, our likes and dislikes, even our own opinions about things. We need to feed our own growth and not our fears and anxieties. We need to release our fears and remain creative. Because I found too that being creative allows for a stillness of mind and allows me to be present and open to my thoughts, to my desires, and allows me to put into action a plan for myself. We tend to think and overanalyze, and then we think we are powerful, but really we are only powerful when we can just be. I've also reflected that we need to teach our children this too. They get so caught up in their busy lives and don't spend enough time just being. That's why boredom is such a great tool. It allows for creativity and for free thought. But nowadays we almost need to teach our children to be bored and guide them through that time. Creativity is very healing and there are many examples of this I have found. Sound healing, color healing, healing through art. It allows us to access our deep subconscious and to create new lives and to become inspired again. It's really struck me how society shuts this all down. This time, however, of being locked down has allowed me to find out so much more. You know, I've realized that the ego likes us to do the same thing all the time. That's what gives us security. This change 
this lockdown has been empowering. But for change to happen, we also need to not be fearful. All the aboves are the thoughts that I've had in this time of lockdown, my mind working. Sorry if it's all over the place, but that's just me trying to explain what's going on in me right now. And that's the end of the letter. But it strikes me that maybe we need to do the same. Maybe we need to write for ourselves at this time what the gains have been, what the advantages have been to us personally in this time of lockdown. We know all the disadvantages. In fact, we may have even suffered because of them. But what has been that which we have learnt? What has been that which we have been able to gain from being in lockdown? What are the lessons that our hearts have been taught? Take some time to write them down for yourself.